Welcome back to Willow Warcraft. Our dungeon group is ready, but I should do the intro nonetheless. We're playing Wrath of the Lich King as a troll shaman, queued as a healer, so I definitely have to change my gear. Let's equip the ring, the amulet, the staff, shoulders. I think that's everything. There's a paladin. Level 43, we should just enter. And we're doing Maradon. Once again, we're in the orange side. Someone's taking damage. No. Was probably not at full health. Let's apply the weapon enhancement. I'm gonna use Earth Living. Water Shield, of course. We do have the Glyph. Should be much better. We're gonna be the healer this time. Hopefully this tank is not going to get us killed. It's your warlock, a hunter, and a rogue. They're gonna be the ones uh, dealing the damage. And the paladin, level 51, is gonna be the tank. Fell intelligence gives us intellect and spirit. We don't have much use for spirit, unless we're not actively casting. It takes five seconds after the last uh, spell cast before your mana can regen naturally. Should try to slow these. The paladin is smart enough. She is not trying to tank them. Uh, the demon is taking damage. We're gonna. I'm gonna heal everyone. These like to cast uh, Entangling Roots a lot, and unfortunately we don't have a way to dispel magic. It's unfortunate. Yeah, these can stun. stunned again. Why am I taking damage? Oh, we have uh, dryads. Yeah, now that makes sense. Never actually saw the patrol. Someone pulled these.
I'm sure the totem is gonna cleanse us. These debuffs do not last uh, long either way. We do have a boss ahead. This is the corrupted water elemental. This is Noxia. Heart of Noxia removes a poison effect. We don't have a trinket. Could we just pick that up just for the nature resistance? Might as well. Nobody else needs it. Stuns. Just look at that. One more. Can get a drink. We do have mana spring. Uh, no time. Tank is bullying. I think the stunning started. Oh, the hunter is not in our line of sight. These are the robes of insight. Reduces the cost of our next spell cast by up to 500 mana. Honestly, not that good. to the boss. Uh, Warlock is life tapping. Anything. We don't even have to cast a single heal for the boss. These are the Brusselhide leggings. Significantly better than what we have. So let's knead on these. Now I'm really glad I came here. Okay, and also open this one. The Earthbound Risk Guards of the Monkey. Surely they're not better than what we have. This is more of a healing piece. Wait, are they better? 11 agility and 11 stamina versus... 20 attack power and 6 stamina. You know, I think they are better. I'm gonna keep them just because of the strength enchant. We'll get something better eventually. Now let's leave the incense group. 
also equip this trinket. I really have uh, no slot to place it. That is unfortunate. Yeah, doesn't matter. We can remove poisons, no problem. 10 points of nature resistance. Better than nothing, but still. Let's queue for another one. Instantly ready. I like that. Let me try to venter some items. Can't keep the air. I got what you need. And that's it. We're close to 47. Could really use another Zulfarakra. Because we picked up all the quests. It would be a shame if we out leveled the dungeon. Can do Zulfarak until level 51. No, it's Maradon again. This time it's the purple side. In pristine waters. So this is probably the final part of Maradon. You start past the waterfall and the dungeon is complete when you defeat the princess. I can see three rogues and a warrior tank. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. So we essentially have zero AoE. Let's grab Earth Living again. Spirit of the first... No, this is the fourth god. This is Marados. Should definitely place Wind Fury here. 16 per Hassan Haste. Yes. Everyone's gonna use this. Tank can also benefit. Stumper is gonna stun us. Let's try not to get stunned. Look at that. Not every day you group with three rogues. Trickster the best. Uh, it's all good. Are they cursed? I'm not seeing any effects on them. Probably means... Wait a minute. That should not be happening, right? Everyone with us? Good.
invasion, you say? No wonder these uh, take a while to die. Poor Millie. Good birds, these. 28 damage. It's honestly nothing. But still. taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure if that's because he's level 44. I guess he pulled. Uh, what is the tank doing? Extremely awkward without AoE. But we'll get there. Lord Vileton will fall. Use a chain heal. Pretty low on mana. And that was it. Male leggings. I'm definitely getting these. We desperately want heat rating. Aquamarine. Uh, why not? And I think that's it. Got all the bonus experience we want. Can uh, just leave. So, next dungeon. Is it gonna be instant? Let's find out. Average wait time is 5 minutes. And we have even more mail. So we sold a couple of these. Sold the Mossa Gate. 17 gold pieces. How much did we list it? 1821. And the Satchel has another ring. 7 Agility, 7 Stamina, 14 Attack Power. So I feel these are a bit better, but not by much. 7 Critical Strike versus 14 Attack Power. It's pretty close. I'm not sure about the stat weight. That's for Enhancement, though. I guess... Critical Strike is a bit better even when we are Restoration because we benefit from the crit. I got the best deals anywhere! We'll just keep these two. Keep it real! Uh, we're going... Honestly, we should go back to the 
Noonshade Ruins. You can finish the quest with the pouches. Only need one pouch. A couple of bandits. And this should be a safe area. Zulfarak. That's awesome. Lots of quests in here. If it ever loads. We might need more than one uh, run of this. 51 maids, 43 rogue, 48 shaman. And the tank is gonna be a paladin. Level 45. Someone purchased the Brutus Belt of the Monkey. We're gonna greet our friends here. Blessing of Kings. That's pretty good because if we use Mana Spring, it's going to override Wisdom. I'm gonna type it just in case. Maybe the paladin sees it, maybe she won't. Mage weave, good. What is this paladin doing? Uh, mage is also taking damage. saying itself probably a good idea yeah I don't think I have a way to heal her there And have one more drink. Mm. 
Yeah, uh, I don't really care. Uh, this is one of those tanks. Someone left already. And honestly, I cannot blame them. Can probably just teleport out. Or maybe it doesn't work because we're in combat. But even if we do make it out, no point in continuing with this tank. We're gonna just leave. We will not be able to return, sure. Can quest, and when the next dungeon is available, we're gonna join. I believe there is a short cooldown. But I'm not sure how long it is. So we have to wait for 9 minutes and... 11 seconds. Oh, but then we're gonna have to switch to enhancement. Let's disable heal bot. And disable. equip the gear that we need oh, that's a quest item I'm starting to doubt we're going to be able to complete the Zulfarak quests and we're going to switch to boots necklace, that's a ring and I believe that's everything Wind Fury. So this is the fifth water pouch. We finally have enough of these. I believe you can keep turning five of them in. But the items that you get are honestly not that great. Mostly consumables, but they're lower level consumables. Managed to reach level 47. Can apply one more talent point. Why not Lava Lash? Can't really use it, of course. It's, yeah. We need an offhand weapon. Only have one, uh, one mace. We're gonna have to find another axe or a mace or a fist weapon. That could work. could definitely research and find a weapon I can use in where it drops. The problem is nobody is going to run a dungeon normally by manually forming groups, which means you're basically stuck with just using, using the tool. And if you get one, yeah, most people have uh, heirlooms. So they don't really care about weapons. I believe the Enhancement Shaman is pretty much dependent on having a good weapon. It works without it, but it's going to be pretty miserable. In Wrath of the Lich King standards. By classic standards, yeah, it's going to be a breeze, definitely. One lightning bolt. Yeah. 
and lightning bolt. You can see a hunter. It was the 45. Whoop. Whoop the hunter. I'll probably start a hunter too. Not in Wrath of the Lich King though. We'll probably try classic hardcore. Let's whoop again. What is he fighting? A glass eye basilisk. Should we go back? Honestly, we should. Could try to find Caliph Scorbid Stink. He is patrolling around the Water Spring Field. Not hard to spot, but because um, it's a single enemy that a lot of people will need for the quest, there's a decent chance that he's going to be dead already. Didn't run into anyone else but the one hunter. I'm remaining optimistic about this. That is... That is an assassin. Shadow mages with the void walkers. There's a hyena. But honestly, I'd rather not engage them. The Shadow Mage is cast from... Not Frost Bolts. Shadow Bolts. And they do a lot of damage. Assassin that is a bandit. Could that be. No. It's another thief. We're going to heal up. Should we continue searching? The tough scorpion breastplate. Not a bad item. 15 agility, 7 stamina. It's probably one of the profession items that was changed with either Wrath of the Lich King or uh, the Burning Crusade. The original version probably gave spirit. I'm willing to bet Quite a few pieces of gold on that. Totem Recall, and let's get out of here. These are low-level enemies, no real point in killing them. Now, where could Caliph Scorpid Sting be? It's an 
another thief, that's a bandit. Maybe further south. Just maybe. A rope. Hold on, should we finish him off with a lightning bolt? Or maybe an attack? Maybe Wind Fury will proc. It didn't. Worked either way. There was a Shadow Mage, there's an Assassin. These are basically water wells. You can see the pumping water. And it's being collected on the barrel. Looks a bit impractical, but... There's another row, probably. There it is. So water seal totems. It's pulled with lightning bolts. Hey, he's got help. Uh, this is a problem. Type for the ratio. That is the head we wanted. One big heal. Oh, didn't manage to mount up. Let's go find the robotic chicken. I also want to check the caverns of time. Not much to do there in classic unless you're doing some of the Quest from the Dragon. Don't remember the name. Mostly associated with uh, the Kingdom of Ankiraz. And the faction that helps you get items in there. Caverns of Time. A 52 elite drake. Oculus. And this is Anachronos. Why are they hostile to us now? Brad of Nosdormo. Nosdormo. No idea how to pronounce that, but that was a faction... You gain reputation by defeating enemies and bosses in Ankyuraz. Oh, wait. My senses picked up. A mithril deposit. Let's make a detour. Could go after the ogres. Mining skill of 232. Should be able to queue again. Yeah, can do it. Let's queue for a, for a DPS this time. That should take about five minutes. Not bad at all. Gaping chasm. I really don't want to be here. 
This is the area with the high level silicid. They're not elites though. Level 47. Double OX seventeen. <laughs> Rescue mission. The gnome's voice crackles once again from the robot. I need to move Double OX forty seven to an open, safe place so it can begin a lengthy takeoff procedure. So we're gonna have to complete the escort and speak with Oglethorpe, Obnoticus, and Booty Bay. <laughs> Decent amount of experience. Definitely gonna do that. Should also be able to do one in Feralus. And speaking of Feralus, I'm gonna have to head there soon unless I wanna over level everything. At 47, it's fine. Could leave a couple of uh, high level quests here in Tanneris. Maybe the ones in uh, the Thistle Shrub Valley. Glorious sound effects. Good skin, this one. 272. Next time we go to the Scryer's uh, tier, I need to visit the library. I need to train both first aid and skinning. Two seven three. We got a scorpid scale. Spell miss came out of nowhere. These are nothing for no some reason. AoE totem and fire no. Was it? Logging systems online. And it's off. We need a heal. Two hundred and seventy seven skinning should be enough to get the next rank. Buyer has been found for iron ore. Hey, we got a basilisk tail. This is the first item we looted from all these beasts.
Are we going to be in Booty Bay soon? Probably not. So these three quests we can leave for later. We could complete the water survey. I think I'm going to do the water survey and then the, the creature spirits we're going to have to go to Feralas for. So we should probably do that. Come back here and finish everything. Also have the hinterlands. These are the three main areas we're gonna be doing in the future. Perilous Tanneris and also everything that we can in hinterlands. We're gonna be over level 50 by the time that is over. It's not Mirthro. But it will do. No. What's up with Hillbot? And disable. Discovered something, I have no idea what it is. Let's go north. Wait, Mithra. It's not every day you see a friendly Naga. Doesn't want to talk to us though. Would make for a pretty awesome playable race. Mining of 233, we're pretty close. Honestly, I wanted to say we're pretty close to being able to mine Thorium. But maybe we can already. Can definitely mine quicks, uh, not quicksilver, true silver. Of course, now that we do have the skill, we don't find a single deposit. Torta the turtle. Shouldn't she be offering us a quest? Maybe we're not high enough. Prospect or Iron Boot. Typical dwarf name. Time is money, friend. Two quests to complete here. Keep it real. Have a good one. Mojo boots. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Be Pick good. the bucket. What can I do for you? See you later. Have a good and that's it. One more quest we can complete in Booty Bay. We need to bring a bottle to McKinley. Not a bad piece. But we do have a better one. So, still, not a bad piece. And these plate boots are also decent. 10 strength, 9 agility. See you around. That is the bottle. Buyer has been found for gold ore. We listed three pieces. Less than a... Definitely less than a gold each. Got the best deals anywhere. Silver is what you want to invest in. Hurry back. Sells for a lot more. So this is a fisherman. Yakinia is the one that wanted the creature spirits captured and delivered. We're gonna be back here when we have that. Our group is ready. Let's go back to town. Mm, then again, we might miss the queue. We're gonna accept here.
And that's it. So maybe someone was AFK. Well, apparently more than one. Even if they decline the queue, it's pretty fast to get it to another group afterwards. Both declined. Well, not exactly declined. I'm willing to bet they were just... AFK and never clicked on it. Wait, this is different. This is the Sanket Temple loading screen. And it doesn't progress. No, it did. Where... Wait a minute. Where are we? Tremor. No, the priest can dispel. Skin away. Nobody seems to care. Hold on, these winged serpents means... Right, this is where we fight the Avatar of Hakkar. You need an item to activate it though. I doubt anyone has it. Wait a minute, isn't that the final uh, reward for completing the Creature Spirit uh, quest chain? Probably is, probably is. It's gonna be a while until we have it though. We'll probably be too high to do Sanket Temple by then. Yeah. They're immune to nature damage. I completely forgot about that. That is a pole arm that we cannot use. I think I know what the problem is. Cannot really engage the boss. This is the Shade of Aranicus, but we do have to defeat the troll first. And his bodyguard. I hate this place, says the rogue. And I am not surprised. Most people playing this expansion have uh, no really patience for a dungeon like this.
Oh, this room is gonna be fun. Yeah, that's a fear. We're gonna use Tremor Totem, but... Also get away from the spirits. Hilda Tank, I doubt it's gonna be successful. Uh, maybe we saved him. The priest is not happy. I wouldn't be either. I would probably have left the group long, long time ago. Try to heal the mage. is pretty much dead. The Blade of the Wretched. Real shame that we cannot use swords. Agreed on this one. Good grab. Honestly, no. Priest is gonna need it way more than us. I'm gonna pass on this one. Now we can engage the final boss. And pray that we killed all the Grin, well, that they killed all the dragon kid around this uh, large room. Otherwise, they're going to all rush towards us. They do come to the boss's aid. Get anything? You pieces of silver. Skinning is already three hundred. Recall totems. I don't see anything alive, but at the same time, you never know. As for the final boss, we're gonna be trying to avoid the deep sleep. We have. I'm not sure what exactly can be done about it. When I did it in Classic Hardcore, a shaman told me that he couldn't figure out if it was tremor or grounding. We're gonna cast both of these. I'm 
Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. No. Should be using... There's a deep slumber. Yeah. Mage has aggro. But the tank was not affected, so one of the two totems did it. it was probably grounding. So we got an essence of Aranicus. There's a chest. Uh, I definitely want the shield. Should we need on the dragon's eye? Yeah, it's a it's an amazing item. There's the dragonkin. We were lucky enough to win both of these. Hold on, it doesn't make sense that only one of them. Yeah, no, there's more. I guess use grounding totem for the shade here. Surprise you can skin it. I wonder what item we're going to get. How do you skin a shade? Magic. Ragged leather. And we cannot use the item, can we? Need to wait. Let's place it here. The bottle. Yeah, it's fine. The chest we can use. No need for the prophetic cane. Can recall totems and teleport out. Q is a healer this time. a rogue. Oh hey, it's the rogue we were grouped with before. Riding some type of polar bear. Yo! Hurry back! <laughs> have the Glad pouches can turn in five real. Hey, how you doing? Keep it real. Have a good one. And the Be waste good. wonder justice. Have a good one. Are we going to head out for more Waste Wonder Justice? Shadow Mages, Rogues. Keep I would real. rather go to Feralus. Uh, what do we get? Mostly junk. What's up? So, time to sell all the junk. Could try selling this on the auction house. Bucket, mystery meat. Scorpid scales, somehow I doubt we're going to be able to sell these dragon scales. You never know, though. Solid stone. Uh, just in time for another group. Right back! 46 Hunter. I want to check the mailbox. 
Is there anything else to complete here? No, these two are for Booty Bay. What is it going to be? Let's hope for Zulfarak. No, it is Maradon. And this is the orange portal. Two hunters, one rogue, and a bear tank. Currently a skeleton. This is the Noggin Fogger Elixir. Wouldn't it be fun to turn into skeletal bears and, uh, and lions when you shapeshift? That would probably take way too much work. Oh, hold on. We're supposed to be healing here. I completely zoned out. to keep it alive. Switch as fast as possible. Can't really use two of them. And those. doing good Dryads. Oh, this is not good.
Wait, what? Spore cloud? Where was that from? Look at that, we cannot range that damage. And the stun as well. I can't believe it. We have to be pretty far away though. got Inverate for you. Inverate might help. The Tyrants of Pollets. One more play piece. Honestly, I'm wondering, is Innervate in Wrath of the Lich King percent based? Does it recover a percentage of your mana? I'm willing to bet it's pretty different in the classic version. left but it doesn't matter we barely have to heal anything in this boss I never managed to look at the tooltip but that is just fine we're done here the brussel hide leggings already got that one this is a nice two-handed axe is it better than Could queue again, not a bad idea. Got some boots. They're not identical, they're actually worse. Hey, Zulfarak. of the wild earthbound bracers
Someone looted the distress beacon. We have this one already. Also out of mana. I mean, if you want to do AoE pulls here, you're supposed to use one of these pillars to line of sight. Yeah, it's, it's whatever. Venom Shroud. I should be... Hold on. pieces of temper. It's gonna take forever to do these quests. For some reason these are immune to slows. I'm not sure how that works. Definitely need to be careful here. I don't want to pull anything we're not supposed to. There is a mini boss here.
Ooh, are we gonna get enough? No, probably not. Probably the rogue that pulled all these. Yeah, shoot me just fine with three. Consume you. Jumanza grips. They're honestly not that great. my doubts a bit about being able to keep the tank alive. Uh, Hunter has aggro. Really cannot afford uh, to hit these. I don't think we have enough AoE. She's pulling more. Thirty seconds on the potion. No, it's not that bad this time. But honestly, I should definitely change the specialization. Now that we have the time, we're gonna lose all our mana, but that's okay. Can now use the mana that I told him. Should be good. What was he doing? Feeding the pet? Maybe I should as far out should be as far away as I possibly can. Someone's gonna aggro this patrol.
Oh, come on. Wait, we can't use that where? Who am I in combat with? That made no sense. There's the team. Ready to fight. Of course, if the trolls make it all the way to the top of the pyramid, they will help you. leveled up or was it a pet I didn't see that level 48 wolf and a level 44 wolf one more bottle we need six more bottles of temper I somehow doubt we'll be able to get it, maybe in the next run. Will probably take a while. The pyramid event, I suppose, was never designed with Wrath of the Lich King clear speed in mind. And of course, they didn't bother updating it. But, yeah, can understand it. Shouldn't take too long. One elite and one drudge. No, there we are. There they are.
Vinomatic Rod. And it's a dual quest. Widgelas fighting the Blood Drinker. Oh, that's gonna be an epic showdown. I think the Goblin will win. No, maybe not. Soul Eater just joined. Did they pull everything? They probably did. skin those the sand fury reign supreme feel the fury of the sand the big bat pauldrons it's a pretty awesome uh, piece No, the tank left, I guess. He didn't want to help everyone else. Oh. Could do it. No, maybe not. It's going to be pretty sketchy without a tank. And I need a lot of uh, Morning Glory Dew. Can place those here. power boots Hey, there's a temper. This is really not a good idea. die here. More enemies.
I'm gonna consider that a successful dungeon run. Let's not speak about it anymore. Got a dagger. We could try a dual wield setup with these two. No clue how effective it's going to be. Could try though. And we can complete at least one quest. We're gonna do Zulfarak again. I'm uh, staying optimistic about it. What up? Be good. Have a good one. Twin the intellect. The ring we cannot can't really use. The headpiece is not bad at all. Keep it real. Be good. And the experience was awesome too. So yeah. Definitely going to keep the hat. Kind of an iconic piece of gear here. Time is money, friend! <laughs> Glad I could help! So I can sell probably those. Time is money, no. friend! Symbolic crown. Sure. Plate piece, might be able to sell these. Boots of the Wild. No, can definitely sell those. Yeah, the Bandit Bracers. We're gonna be using the Stone Princess Bracers. And of course can sell those. This one we can try to list on the auction house. We now have a dual wield setup. Keep it real! Oh, do I have a deal for you? Hurry back! That shield has to wait until level 50. Two points. So restoration. One more point in Blessing of the Eternals. Uh, what about the other one? I would like to cause less threat when I'm healing, but 5% is honestly not that much. Healing focus is also good. Chain heal. Uh, we're gonna get chain heal. 20% increase in the amount healed is gonna be a solid one right now is uh, 451 to 518 of course the effectiveness is reduced by 40 percent uh, that is a lot but yeah let's activate enhancement And apply the single talent point that we have uh, specialization sure or what other option do we have improve ghost wolf wind fury totem no. let's get the specialization Definitely have to place the Lava Lash. Oh, that is on. Wait a minute. Yep, I'm gonna have to configure my action bars. I'm uh, starting to move things around and they do not match. It's, um, it's time I use a specialization. That can lead uh, to a disastrous uh, situation. Should definitely take care of it. I'm going to end the episode here. We are level 48. Wait in, waiting until level 49 doesn't make much sense. Can go back now. Yeah, let's do that before we end the episode. We can visit the Scryer's library. Learn a thing or two about professions and then we can end it. And get the next rank of skinning. Male. 
single gold piece. So what do we need? Skinning and first aid. Mining will take... Yeah, how much? 30 points, 31. I think at uh, 275 you can train the next rank. Oh, we are not outside. Now we are. First aid is where? Right here. Heavy mage with bandits, that's what we want. As we're skinning. Ten gold pieces. Could be worse. And now we have Dark times will pass. maximum skill of 375. Next rank is in Northrend, but yeah, it's gonna take a really long time before uh, we need that let's place those better bandages we can sell the old ones I don't remember at which level I can use rune cloth could be 260 um, probably not though Yeah, it was 260. And 290 points for the heavy rune cloth bandages. Do not have a single piece of rune cloth, though. But we will get some eventually. Either way, thank you for watching. I'm going to head to Thunder Bluff, list some items, and we can uh, train skills and uh, decide where we're going to go for the next episode. I'm thinking of Perilous, but at the same time... Could be worth simply entering Zulfarak, not through the random dungeon, but specifying only that one so we can complete the quests. We have 12,000, 15,000, and 12,000. Could be worth it. But we'll see can enter until I think level 51 yeah so two more levels two and a half it's okay so that's it for the episode and hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one